Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. They go play action. Now Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Emerson Rawls. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. They'll run on first down. It's James. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On play action, it's Mahomes. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a costly turnover there as the ball will be spotted first and goal at the five-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. Yet the pressure was still there. And he ended up coughing it up. No, he was hit as he threw it there. And that one winds up incomplete. A line of scrimmage. Once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. They give it off here to the tight end. A good display of power. But ultimately, it gets him just inside the five to the four. And no further. Third and goal at the four-yard line. McCaffrey, and he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And his Texans defense comes up with a goal line stand. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, that gives them a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I should just say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you may be buried at his feet and make sure he doesn't catch it. Great, Chuck. Great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Wide open, Gronkowski. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Throwing, Vic. Buying time to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. He'll find Metcalf. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. They're 
going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancer for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. DK Metcalf there to make the grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? All the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From the six. That heavy tackle just shy of the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They'll try to left side. James got some room at the 30, and he's got room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big gain there on third and long. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On second down now. It's James, and he's got some space here. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Touchdown, Texans! Nassi Newsom, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. 
The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Mahomes now on first down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. It'll be Vic once more. Steps away to his left. Now he finds Gronk. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. He takes it to the 15. A flashy move, but little to show for it. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Being chased out left. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Here's Michael Vick. Dancing to his left. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Emerson Walls. And the Texans are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Throwing on second and eight. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That's Luke Keekley with a sack. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part and got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And he will be able to recover this himself to prevent a wacky ending here. But that will be how this first half comes to an end. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. A tie game. I don't think anybody in this building, including you or I, was expecting that. <laughs> no, I would agree with that totally. I didn't expect to see it at all. But I kind of like where they were going with this. You know, as you said, tie game. Trying to steal a possession. Steal an advantage. And you told your defense at the half you were going to do it which also told them that you had confidence in them in case it failed as that one just did. And now you've given good field position here to start the third quarter. Third quarter all tied up. This is second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. James has got it. Complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And he is going to have a Texans first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. On first down, Mahomes. Open man, that's Ozzie Newsom. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. About three yards there to the 27. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James.